Well, guys, this is a much different scene right now at the 8 o'clock hour than how it looked at 5 and 6 o'clock. You can see here behind me very minimal smoke coming from that structure. That is a very good sign. Uh, earlier today, it was a giant plume of very thick and black smoke. There were over 100 firefighters here, boots on the ground, working to get this fire out. And this was a very dangerous fire because, as we know, propane is a very explosive uh, gas, and it sent uh, tanks shooting hundreds of feet into the air. And I'm here now with uh, Phoenix Fire Captain Scott Douglas, who is here to explain just how dangerous this fire was. Scott, you showed us earlier today, this is one of the propane tanks that actually exploded. Yeah. Can you talk about how fire crews were able to really get this under control under such difficult and dangerous circumstances? Sure, sure. So crews arrived around 5 p.m. to hundreds of these exploding. So we had them landing about 500 yards away from the actual scene. Uh, one of them almost hit one of our fire trucks. So it was very important for us to evacuate the area, isolate it, and deny entry from anyone, any of the businesses nearby. There was a college, Gateway Community College, across the street on 40th Street. So we made sure that that area was evacuated, and we made sure that the area was safe before now we're going to let anybody back in. And that was about a one mile radius and a very miraculous thing with the fire of this magnitude and how dangerous it was. No injuries. And you did uh, mention that we have an update. Can you explain what the latest there is? So we had this this fire went to a fourth alarm fire. Uh, we have over 150 firefighters working it with probably 75 different apparatus and support personnel helping to make sure that this fire was extinguished um, at this time. We do have the fire mitigated to a point where they're able to enter the hazard zone. Um, we have fire investigators as well as crews that are wearing their SCBAs. They're going to make entry, um, evaluate the propane tanks, um, look at that field, look at the yard as well as the one structure that did catch on fire um, and make sure they're putting out any hot spots. And I know you mentioned uh, we, got, we got some questions about air quality because of the gas. That was not a concern for you, but was the smoke in the air? Um, absolutely. The smoke's always a concern. We always want to make sure that our firefighters are working in a safe way, that anybody in the nearby area um, is staying out of that smoke. Uh, smoke is a, a dangerous combustible that we want to make sure that does not get into their lungs, on their skin. So uh, we always encourage everyone to stay out of the smoke. And will you also be assessing the damage um, north of that structure? We heard that there was a parking lot with cars that have been damaged and some additional structures as well. Absolutely. So our crews are going to go around now. They're going to do a perimeter, make sure that anything that was affected by this fire is evaluated, make sure we don't have any further hot spots. Um, and our team of investigators from the Phoenix Fire Investigations Task Force are on site. They're going to look into the origin and cause of this fire. And I know you mentioned that there was a one mile radius where you were recommending that people either shelter in place or evacuate. What's the latest there? Um, so at this time, uh, that was primarily for the businesses. We did have some people in the homes to the northeast that were evacuated. Um, at this time, I think all of them have been allowed to return to their homes. The businesses are still evacuated. All right, thank you so much for providing that update for oh, us. You. And again, they had to rotate these firefighters in and out in 20 minute increments. It hit 119 degrees here in Phoenix today, so it was very hot. Thankfully, everyone at this point has been able to stay safe, no injuries. All right, guys, I will send it back to you reporting live in Phoenix. I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family. Yeah, that is a good news.